let's look at some uh, filters today. Um, these were sent in by a, by a viewer, uh, and they are filters. Uh, and it says bandpass filter. And uh, I figured out that uh, I think this number here, 437.5, is the design frequency. So it's a bandpass filter at 437.5. Uh, I don't know how wide it is, um, but it uh, should be centered on that number. And uh, they look like this. So let me, let me zoom down a bit. So they're pretty small. There we go. What's it say? K&L microwave? Yeah, there's that 437.5 again. So they are to be surface mounted, I guess. That's kind of interesting. Um, but we can just kind of figure out here that that's ground and this is input output and it's probably symmetrical. So it doesn't matter if it's in or it's out or it's out or it's in. So uh, yeah, there you go. So I think the first thing we're going to do is, uh, since I have so many of these things, uh, let's open one up and uh, see what we can find out. Uh, see what's inside. It's always a good thing to open these things up. Okay, here it is. Isn't that cute? Yeah, this is way cute. I like this. Um, so it's definitely, uh, here's the input and output and a bunch of LCs. So um, I think this one's going to deserve to go under the microscope because this is just way too cool looking. All right, here we go. This is very cool. So from one side to the other side, uh, there we go. So the really cool thing about this is the way that the capacitors are installed. So the inductors are pretty straightforward, but the way that the capacitors are installed, let's look at one of these here, how about right there? I'm going to try to point to this thing without disturbing it. So right there, that thing right there is a capacitor on its end, okay? And so one side is soldered over there, one side soldered over there. So it, it's surface mount on edge. It's really, really cool. And so there's one of those between each gap here. This is, there's one of these, uh, that's one there, this uh, capacitor. So if that isn't cool enough, then you go over to the edge, okay, uh, where the last, last one is. I think I can do it over here easier. I can tip it up, yeah. Um, yeah, let's see if I can focus on that as I tilt it up. Oh God, this is getting hard. But um, uh, that one there is a capacitor. It, now it's flat, but uh, it's used as a solder point as well. So uh, the last inductor solders to that and then it goes down and it goes down to that, that pad down there. So yeah, I, I, I like the way this, I like the way this thing is constructed. It's uh, that's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, so it's just a really, really simple inductor resistor. I mean, inductor capacitor, inductor capacitor, inductor capacitor. Um, goes all the way across. And so it should be a nice, uh, nice bandpass filter. You know, half of this thing's going to be a low pass filter and half of this thing's going to be a uh, high pass filter. And then together they become a bandpass filter. So I like it. So what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six six inductors and uh, let's see here there's one there so one two three four five six seven yeah one yeah one more one more uh, capacitor so uh, capacitive in capacitive out and then a bunch of things in between so yeah let's uh let's sweep this thing and see what it does Oh, I had an idea to tilt it up on its edge. I don't know if that's any better or not, if you can uh, see what's going on there or not. There we go. There's the money shot. <laughs> you can see the inductor, uh, the capacitor standing up on edge with the inductors in the background there. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's super cool. I like it a lot. All right, here I've added some uh, SMA connectors to it, and uh, we can have it hooked up to the... Uh, Hooked it up to the analyzer here, and let's uh, let's see what we can see. All right, so I have a couple stored programs in here, just so I have an easy way to get to a certain position. I can do recall, 
And then I have a bunch of things in here. I have something called low pass filter, which is with sweeping a sweeping a filter. This is a filter, so that's a good starting point. It sets the machine up to be uh, uh, basically doing all the right stuff. And there we go. It looks kind of like kind of like a filter now. It's all off scale and everything, but but it gets us uh, gets us into the ballpark. Uh, so let's go to center frequency of four. 37.5 megahertz and uh, it's doing a full sweep so we don't want that uh, we want a span of I don't know let's do 500 megahertz that should be something reasonable yeah there we go and then uh, it's way up there so we'll change the reference level to something big yeah there we go and ah, there we go. So yeah, looks like a filter. Um, we can, let's say, measure some things. Go to marker. So 3dB is probably around there. Uh, that's three, let's see, where's the marker? Marker 387 and 481, 487, 487.9. Yeah, so where's 440? There's 440. So make a nice uh, 440 filter. Well, that's pretty cool. And it's, you know, at least 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, it's a pretty good filter, right? So yeah, I might save that for a project.